So you asked for a video on using the Sweet Sweet Protractor, and so this is that video. You're going to need to do this, this chart all filled in and the math all done. You'll need a ruler, you'll probably also want a compass because it's easier, and you will definitely need the handy dandy Protractor. So let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Uh, we're using my data that out of uh, 4,283 cells, let's just say uh, 845 of them were found to be in prophase. So your fraction is real easy, right? You got 845 out of your 4283. Giddy. Then you just have to calculate your percentage. So you you know you do the math. 800. 45 out of 4,283, a.k.a. 4,283 divided by 845, and that gives us roughly 19.7%, or 19% would work. This is where it gets exciting. You must remember, young Patawan, that there are 360 degrees total in a circle. And then you do my favorite game, Mathematicas, you just take your 19%, multiply it by 360 degrees in a circle, and so for prophase, that chunk of the pie chart out of 360 degrees for a full circle, that should be 71 degrees. Notice, uh oh, camera move, whoa, on our circle friend here that looks definitely like a circle. We have 360 degrees around and we found that 71 degrees of it could represent prophase. Now the two things you need to do is you need to remember when you're filling out this pie chart we want it to look like the picture of the cell cycle from the video, from your homeworks, and so you know you need to do the phases in order. Yeah. But we're going to start with prophase. If you start with prophase, that's cool. I would recommend starting with interphase, just working yourself around. So the first thing you need to do, you can use your handy dandy ruler to make your life real easy. And let's just find uh, roughly the diameter of the circle. So we're coming in, put the zero there, right around mm, just under 100 millimeters right at uh, uh, 90, let's call it 98, right? So you got your compass, and just put your width of the compass at half of 98, which would be 49, so we'll call it 50. Now, I'm not going to jack you up too bad if you're like a pinch off on the center, so it's supposed to be 49, we can call it 50. I will jack you up if it's supposed to be center, and it's like, over here that's that's not even close to center that's just that's just devilment all right so we've got this and we just put it to the edge draw an arc see the arc oh, look at that eraser sticking up in the camera that's no fun we draw our arc and the farthest point out on the arc we'll do a couple of those right do a couple of those that's the center that's the center you don't want to do one from down here we see it's all The point where they all cross, that should be about the center of the circle. So somewhere in uh, here-ish is the center of the circle. Yay. You could also just use the ruler, get your diameter, pop it down in the middle. So let's say that is the middle. Hopefully this is dark enough for you to see. Then we use our friend, the handy dandy protractor. We need that middle dot, see? So we can line our protractor up on the middle dot. Zooming, zooming, zooming. Everyone loves zooming and focusing. See the dot needs to be in the center. If you don't have that in the center, it's not gonna work very well. I made that dot big so you could see it. Your dot should be small. Oh no, I hit the camera. Your dot should be small, like poop, a dot. So you line it up in the center. What did we say our distance, our degrees was? 71. So we got this lined up, and you can see all the ends. Make this line here be lined up with your interphase. If you're starting with prophase, then you need to put a dot out here towards the sarrow. And then we got to find our handy dandy 71. There's 70, 71. Dot, 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 dot. Then you have to move it so that you're actually going to be using it as a straight edge so that you're starting from your point here 
right? There's our zero. Point to point, here's our 71. I like to draw it all over it, right? So you can make sure that we've got it lined up. So I moved and re-strike the line. That is acceptable. Then, to make it not look like it was drawn by someone who doesn't care, we just erase those parts outside the circle so it's nice and even. You'll notice if we check rate it, lining up the zero, the line to the line, we should be seeing that we're reading, yep, about 71 degrees. And then you just label it prophase. Once it's complete, add some color, make it purdy, or not. All you need is this. In order, if I'm going this way, my next one should be metaphase. Have any questions? You know what to do with the uh, asking abilities, you know, like texting or emailing or any of that stuff. Good work, children. We'll work on this in class. Now I'm upside right. Ooh.